Hello and welcome to Expert Education and Visa Services Adelaide video series number four. My name is Rupak Bartola, Qualified Education Agent Counselor for Expert Education and Visa Services Adelaide Office. Today, the purpose of this video is to explain the financial capacity requirements by the Student High Commission while you're submitting a student visa for yourself as a student or your family members, maybe your spouse or kids. This information are better explained over the commentary screen with relevant links. So this is a visa refusal letter issued to one of the um, clients who have just recently visited us. I'll just take an extract of what's more relevant uh, to be used in this video. So what this client did is this client was waiting for a uh, immigration to request him to provide the capacity of uh, funds. The evidence in, in terms of bank statements or and any available funds that was required for the visa application because that was what he had heard from um, someone he know and he put through this application by himself but um, immigration has turned around and refused this visa application stating that at the time of visa application at the time of allotment and assessment of the student visa application uh, the student did not the applicant did not provide any verifiable evidence of, to support their application therefore i'm not satisfied that the application applicant has provided evidence of the funds to meet their travel expenses living costs and the annual course fee there's also a range of other things list, um, given here but what i'd like to direct you to is to a website where you can uh, better understand this uh, information so for a student visa there is a list of things that that was that's required to be submitted at the time of visa application which you can check by using this simple tool that was listed here by selecting the country of the passport holder and also the provider education provider the student is going to study at today um, this video um, i want to talk about the financial capacity requirement and read out what's here so in the past what used to happen is uh, even if you didn't submit your financial documents uh, to very to show that you have the capacity to come and study in Australia for the particular course immigration would ask for additional information but these days uh, they keep the right not to ask anymore and it's clearly mentioned out here you need to have enough money that is generally available to you meaning the student to pay for your course fees to travel and living cost for your company uh, for you and your accompanying family members while you are in Australia you can check the financial capacity requirement document checklist here by using sim simple tool and also if the document checklist if checklist evidence of financial caps are requ as a requirement it must be attached to the visa application form or your visa could be refused without re request for further information so this is where that client went wrong he did he overlooked this information um, by not uh, going and getting a advice from a agent so if you do not need to provide this evidence with your application we have the discretion to ask you for this course so even if this tool does not require you to provide any financial uh, documents at the time of visa application the department still keeps the right to ask you to submit those however in this case where the student was actually required to submit the financial documents uh, immigration didn't ask for any further information hence why the visa was refused there's other um, information around how and in what ways can you show that um, you have the financial capacity to come and study in Australia as outlined by the department with that being discussed here I hope you got something useful to take away from the video today for any further clarification, I'll be more than happy to explain in person at our office located at level 2 of 90 King William Street. We are also contactable on 08712026672667. The website used here to prepare this video will be shared in the video description with the links for you to access anytime in future. Please feel free to use them or feel free to contact us. Have a wonderful day and see you around. Namaste.